guard columns are used to protect the analytical column. For example, by removing impurities in the sample, or solvent easily adsorbed on the column. What the column packing material looks like after continuous sample injections. The guard column must be connected between the injector and the analytical column. In this video you will find how to choose a guard column. The types of guard columns are available cartridge guard column and packed guard column. There are many types of cartridge guard columns each type is designed for a specific use. There are also different types of end fitting which are used to connect the guard column to the analytical column. The pre-column coupler should be chosen according to the eluent used, and to the maximum operating pressure. Open the holder with your hands. Put the cartridge inside the holder and tightly close it with your hands. If it is not tight enough, slightly tighten it with a wrench. Connect the coupler to the guard column inlet and fix them with your hands. A wrench should be used to fix them. Connect the analytical column inlet, and fix it with your hands. The guard column is now ready to be used. Insert fittings and ferrules to the stainless tube. Set the ferrule black part on the column side, and the stainless part on the fitting side. Tighten the nut by hand, while be pushing the stainless tube on the analysis column. Be careful do not to pull out the stainless tube. Make sure that the stainless tube is connected. Tighten the nut by hand, while be pushing the stainless tube on the guard column. While holding and pulling the analysis column and guard column, check the stainless tube, if it is pulling out. When the stainless tube pulls out, tighten it again. Install the column in oven, however, due to the oven length limitation, bend the stainless tube, and install the column into the oven. It is able to adjust the length to fit oven, 